All right, in this video, I'm going to describe the four basic steps to natural selection. The first step, let me zoom in here, is that variations exist in populations. Um, for example, we know that variation exists among humans. There's variation in height, variation in skin color, variation in eye color, hair color, all of the traits that you talk about in genetics. There's variations in those. Um, and there's also variations in ability. In our sample population, you know, they look so authentic, you probably don't need me to tell you that these are crickets. Um, and in our sample population, we have brown crickets and we have green crickets. So here are our brown crickets and here are our green crickets. So variations exist in populations. Step number two, not all organisms survive. Um, so Malthus described a scenario where uh, inherently, populations will breed to have more organisms than the environment can handle. Um, and so that can be a lack of resources, and there can be competition for that. In our scenario, there's actually going to be a predator of a lizard who will eat the crickets. And so, sorry, I'm having trouble with this. Some variations are better to have than others. Uh, that is step number three. And so let's just say in this sample population, there happens to be a drought. So all of the grass turns brown. Okay. Who's most likely to get eaten? The green grasshoppers, of course. Now, I'm not saying no brown grasshoppers will get eaten. It's likely that some will. But... Um, more brown will survive than green will. And then that last step says that those that survive will reproduce and pass on their traits that happen to be successful. So the brown survive, they reproduce, and at the end, we get a new generation that has more brown than green grasshoppers.